Turkey and Bulgaria. Georgi Vongelov of Bulgaria, 29 years old. He's wrestling up away from his Tokyo Games appearance. Olympic qualifier for Bulgaria, Atli of Turkey, Suleiman Atli, also wrestling up away from his 57 kilos that he took part in Tokyo. So this jam-packed crowd getting treated to a couple of Olympians right out of the gates tonight. Atli will be in the red singlet the blue coming from Bulgaria and Van Gelof. We talked last night about you start to see these athletes after an Olympic year take some time off to heal some injuries mentally, physically, just rejuvenate themselves. And Atlee is not taking this year off, but he's going to be up at 61 for some time. And he did say he expects to be back down at 57 later this year for the World Championships, but to allow his body to heal, it just doesn't make sense for him to cut weight for the first six, seven months of the year. But expect to see him back down at 57 where he's most successful at the Belgrade World Championships. Give his body time to refurbish a little bit. And then as we get closer to the fall months, the World Championships coming up in Serbia. Very cautious start, both wrestlers not really committing to any type of shot. Halfway through period number one, Otley's been tagged with a verbal warning. A second one might be coming here, and there is the whistle. So the activity clock will go into effect. You see the 30 seconds up in the upper left-hand corner by Otley's name. If no points are scored here in the next 30 seconds, it will be a point for Bulgaria and Von Gelof. Two three-minute periods in international wrestling. No overtime. It comes down to tiebreakers, and we'll break that down should the situation arise throughout the course of the night. Final few moments of the activity clock, and it will be Van Gilov going up on a 1-0 lead. Two wrestlers who know each other extremely well. A lot of experience throughout the years from these two. A good look at the Turkish corner. Atli coming off a fifth place finish in Tokyo at the Olympic Games. He was a world silver medalist in 2019, a world bronze medalist the year prior in 2018. You know, it's just above that right elbow. He has the Olympic rings. Pretty cool tattoo. Real good location. The honor of getting that type of tattoo, and he certainly earned the honor this past year. Both wrestlers having a tough time getting to their tie-ups in this opening period. Otley taking a quick glance over at the clock. We'll see if anybody takes a, a true committed shot here. Short time wrestling. Von Gelov hanging on the arm. Driving Otley near the edge, but the wise veteran knew exactly where he was. He put on the brakes and pretty much a stalemate after three minutes. And that's what that that's what I expected out of the first period. Kind of take it slow, figure out the best tactic in the second period. But for Atley to remain composed in that first three minutes was important. So expect to see him coming out firing in period number two. Yeah, he'll want to get at least the clock up on Von Gelov. No, you look at Georgi Von Gelov. He's looking for his first European championship this year. Bounce back from a tough international Ukrainian to start the year a season ago where he placed 10th, but had a solid run after that particular in -buff. Right off the whistle, he comes in looking for the, the high C. Nothing to be found there. Otley backpedaling a little bit. Really like what I saw from Von Gelov. He's going to try to be the aggressor, try to keep the referee off him in a match in which a takedown will be very premium here. Shot attempt from Van Gelov, but counter offense from Suleiman Atli, and that's where Van Gelov has to be careful. Keep those elbows tucked tight. Keep them close to your hips. 
because anytime Atley's going to be able to get an underhook, he's going to look to get to that pick. So now they will put Van Gelov on the clock. At least squeezing the head real tightly, front headlock position. Both wrestlers on their knees and a quick whistle. Referee wants more action back into the stand up position. Committed shot by Atli. Waterfall position coming right over the top is Von Gayloff. Now what he's going to have to do is hook that bottom leg with his right leg. Try and put Van Gayloff in danger, but he comes back up. Now he's going to have to pick one side. It's important that you isolate one leg in order to finish here. And this would be something if Engelov can get out of here without giving up a takedown. And that's exactly what he does. So the, the real first true shot that we've seen from Suleiman Atli comes up a near miss. However, he does pick up the point on the activity clock to tie it up at one. And now a caution has been given to Von Gayloff. Any ideas on what might have happened with that exchange, Eric? I did not see anything. I did not either. If anything, they would have given one, I'm guessing, the legs around the head could have been the only thing that I would guess would happen. And immediately Otley will make him pay from the parterre, working the gut wrench, able to get a turn. He extends the lead as we approach 60 seconds to go and a four to one advantage. So a critical call late in this semifinal match goes against Von Gala. And this is where I wanted to see Atley. Late in, this, late in the second period with a lead, because we saw that in the Yashardo semifinals, and he ended up giving up those big points. So what did he learn from Istanbul, that ranking series event that he's gonna carry in to the European Championships? Because this is, these are building blocks. You have to continue to get better each competition. So what did he learn from that mistake that he's carrying here into Budapest? Von Gailov. Comes in one more time. Again, those heavy hips smothered effectively by Otley. Maybe the match's final scramble, the last chance opportunity for Von Gelo. Still trying to drive in. Otley pretty comfortable in this position here. Now he tries to roll him over and he does. He'll get the exposure for two. Von Gelo squirts out, pops free. No points awarded yet. Ali content to just latch it onto the leg. And even though he ends up face down on the mat, it's going to be his arm which gets raised and he is into the gold medal match. Continue to attack even with the lead and that's what you want to see. If you're on the co coaching staff for Turkey, great job for Atley to get back to the finals. In search of his third European championship, Suleiman Atli, one step closer. Commanding second period turned in. Looks like they're gonna take one more look at it with the independent review panel. Don't see much changing here. Tough look, tough semifinal match from the Bulgarian corner. The look set at all. Right now, just the pleasantries awaiting for Suleiman Atli, both he and Von Gailov. Awaiting for the final score to be officially announced as they continue to take another look at the scoring exchange. And it's a good look at our review panel from the three person officiating crew. You have the referee, you have the judge and the mat chairman, but when it goes into a replay or a review, as in this situation, it goes to a different set of officials.
Yeah, and that's going to be the head official right there, Mr. Antonio Silvestri, who's on that right side. And then Mr. Ibrahim Gigigolu, who is on your left side. But while we're at it over here on Matt number, or excuse me, Matt C, Arsen Haratunian out of Armenia, European champion from 2019. Looks like he's gonna pick up the win in the other 61 kilo final. So it'll be Haratunian versus Atli, European champion versus European champion for European gold. And do you remember the 2019 with Becca Lomtadze and do. Arsene Haratunian? My favorite match that, I, that I've had the opportunity to be on the call for. That was a fun one. Down nine nothing and ended up scoring 17 consecutive points to win that European title. Not something you see too often, especially against a guy like Beckham Tadze who ended up being a world champion in 2019. You get on a roll and the points can come in a hurry, but not too often you see a barrage like we witnessed in 2019. So Aratunian advances. He puts up 13 in his win, a 13-8 victory over Edward Grigorin. And two points blue. Challenge one. So in the end, two points will be awarded to Von Gelov, but it won't be enough to change the outcome. Turkey will meet Armenia for gold at 61 kilos tomorrow night. And when you look at what Atli has been able to do, of course, we'll see a a little bit later on tonight at the heavyweight division, one other semifinalist for Turkey. After a quiet first day, they certainly are being heard on day two.